Runners sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. Mission Rapids, one of the trailers early on with taking chances. Settling down, she's a leader. Private dancers there. Snow Roses in the green near the rail. Oi, 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 Vivarani. Ninefold is the black sleeves and cap hooked three deep. They're followed by Riscality, that's racing about six lengths off the leader, Intergalactic's also wide out on the track. Further back in the running there we find Idia Fiesta, and then comes Wonderful Cross taking chances and Mission Rapids a difficult ride. Ninefold goes out to lead by three, she's a leader second, Private Dancers third. Snow Rose in the green is back at the rail fourth, Vivarani, oi oi oi, then Intergalactic's about five lengths off the leader. Taking chances, followed by Ida Fiesta, then Riscality, Mission Rapids, and Wonderful Cross. Top of the lane, ninefold, just the leader. She's a leader, moves up on the outside, and Private Dancer. Further back, Intergalactic Snow Rose, and then comes Oi Oi Oi. Private Dancer, and she's a leader past the 200 meter marker. Taking chances, running on Snow Roses towards the outside. She's a leader, taking chances with a big run now. And it's taking chances, coming into the lead from She's a leader. And taking chances, going on to win it. Taking chances from She's a leader, Snow Rose. And then a photo for fourth. There's three or four involved in that photo. Number four taking chances, let the side down last time out, but comes back from a wide draw here, the footy by Fort Beluga. Duncan Owls, Bruce LaRue also bred and wins it two from eight. Muziene, his third ride, his third winner of the afternoon. Second, she's a leader. Third place, Snow Rose. Ida Fiesta from Intergalactic. Then Rascality, Mission Rapids and Private Dancer. Further back, Oi 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 and Vivarani. But victory is for taking chances. So anybody could win it there, but the winner comes on the extreme right-hand side. Taking chances comes to tackle. She's a leader, private dancer in Snow Rose. And on the left-hand side is Ia de Fiesta in the pink. But coming down to the line and taking chances, number four is Victoria's. That's the running of the seventh race. Number four on the toad three ran ten. Toad favorite ends up number ten intergalactic, but there was only ten cents between the two until the eighth and last. Back to the studio. Number four, taking chances, found uh, lots of betting support. And uh, Duncan House did mention he was expecting a taking chances, no mistakes today. And uh, just having a quick word with Duncan off air. And the bias of the draw at Scottsville certainly uh, I did not see her put her best foot forward last time out. And firstly, Duncan, I'd like to thank you for your comments on first call. You mentioned this was your best runner on the day uh, despite the draw, and you were spot on with that. Look, these, I think if you look at her form, on the, she only had one run on the poly before this. Pinnacle plate, very strong field. I wasn't really concerned about the draw because we made a plan to drop her off the pace. Uh, her last run, the draw by, is just too much for her to make up ground. They got her way down that inside of the track and she was running on, but you could see she was never going to get to them. A very nice filly, this. I think she'll even get up to a mile. Mr. Leaf, that's, uh, sorry, Mr. Bruce LaRue. I always uh, get confused with his colours. It looks similar, but one's green and one blue. But well done to Bruce LaRue. He also bred her. Yes, good luck to him. He's had a lot of patience with her. We haven't had an even keel with her. She's been very, very consistent, but often we found the wrong race, wrong draw. And, you know, sometimes you have to run horses, and it's not really showing her true ability because if you look at some of the horses that have run around her, they're all three- and four-time winners now. You gaining in confidence on this poly track now, Duncan? Uh, I've had to practice a hell of a lot. <laughs> so it wasn't going to get me down, but we're getting there. And... Uh, now look, Polytrack suits certain horses, if they can run on it, race the horses, they've also, I feel the track is a lot better now. I think they've done a lot of work on it, I think it was, in the beginning it was an education for everybody. And I find horses are actually enjoying the track now and pulling up much sound off it. Fantastic, Duncan, again, big thank you for your comments. As I mentioned, you were on the mark with this filly, and may she go from strength to strength. Great, thanks. Just thanks to Bruce for his support, and thanks to our sponsors, Winning Form. 
Duncan House, winning trainer, now the winning jockey, a gentleman that's having a, a good run is our good friend Muzi Yeni. And uh, I must tell you that Duncan gave us a lot of confidence with regards to this filly today. He wasn't too concerned about the draw, but you still had to bring her home and you were oh so patient from that draw, Muzi. You, you, you gave her a great ride. Thank you very much, Deza. You know, well done to him. Obviously, it takes a bit of confidence to run them from draw 12 out of 12. But uh, sand work was impeccable. These flip. If he just had to bring the work, what he did on the other day to the track, he has a massive runner. Obviously, he had to respect one or two that seemed like they had form and they had the draw. But uh, she brought uh, homework to the track, and you saw how she reproduced. We'll continue this interview now. Craig, if you've got anything, a hooter has sounded. Uh, Craig, upstairs, uh, please uh, tell us more. Uh, I know there was a race review with regards to the minor positions. Craig Peters, upstairs, do you have any word with regards to that hooter sounding? These at this stage, nothing. The hooter has gone. As soon as I've got any info, I'll come back to you. As soon as we hear anything, you will come back. But the hooter has sounded with regards to the minor position. At one stage, I thought you, you're going to get there, but you're just going to get there. But when you got to the front, she actually ran away. Yes, 100%. I, was just, I had a ton in hands to, at the, about the 600. It was all just about letting her slide in my hands. And uh, I had, so I had the measure of the favorite, which gave me more confidence to wait on her. And uh, when I was ready to, to squeeze at the 200, she put them to bed. It was a good one. Great relationship you're building up with the Duncan Owls team. 100% he's got the horses and I'm just grateful for the opportunities. Obviously anyone could be riding for him and I'm just grateful that I have this opportunity at the moment. We're not going to get carried away. But uh, back to the source, well done to Mr. Leroux for his patience, invest in the yard and uh, I'm grateful he's reaping the rewards. Thanks Muzi, well played. Thank you, winning form, big thanks again. Lovely, winning form, big thank you gang. Over to you Craig for that hooter sounding with regards to the objection. Thank you very much Dees. Please note an objection has been lodged by a member of the Stipendry Board on behalf of the fifth place horse number 10 Intergalactic against the third place horse number 6 Snow Rose on the grounds of interference at the 200 metre marker. So it's the fifth place horse number 10 Intergalactic against the third place horse Number six, Snow Rose, grounds of interference, uh, interference at the 200 meter marker.